Hello everybody! I'm going to be doing a different kind of video today. I'm actually recovering from being a little bit sick. I didn't have the the COVID, but I did have some kind of a coffee throaty thing. I feel fine, but I might sound a little crappy today. So I'm not on the microphone because I may have to cough. And if I cough, I don't want to be on microphone. So I'm a little raspy today. I'm hoping I can get back to normal readings tomorrow. But in the meantime, I wanted to start doing the Zodiac readings for September. So I'm actually going to do this month a little different. I'm going to do it alphabetically. So you'll kind of know where you are in, in the mix. So I'm doing Aquarius first because that is the first alphabetical one. So Aquarius for September 2021. Also, I got two new products and we're going to be hitting these. I got these as a gift this month. Oh my goodness. They are the Oracle cards. So I'm going to be pulling these also. I'll put these off to the side now that you've seen them. They're really cool and um, they uh, involve cursing and uh, I should say swearing. So swearing and um, they're really fun and we'll pull some of these later and uh, to give you a better, more well-rounded reading. Okay, so I'll put the box over there. We'll do these here. So <clears throat> stick tuned to the end of the video, but I have two new soaps. These are soaps that I've had uh, an iteration of before, but these are going to be named after my friend Jason uh, was the inspiration for one of these soaps. And his dog, Robbie, is actually the biggest user of this soap. So I'm actually going to be calling these the Robbie, which is formerly the pet oatmeal shampoo bar and the Jason, which is the new and updated charcoal. I do have a charcoal that is lavender scented. That is, uh, would be more of a female scent. This has more of a tonka bean tobacco and it has oatmeal in it for extra scrubbing. So I know my, my uh, guys that like this, like this for their beard. I will tell you it really, it's a good beard scrubber. So if you have a man in your life that is stinky or has a lot of hair anywhere in his body. Doesn't matter where, it doesn't have to be his face. You're gonna to wanna to get the Jason. And if you have any kind of animal, you're gonna to wanna to get the Robbie. It is wonderfully scented and also has an oatmeal scrubby area, which is good for pets and their skin and their coat and all that good stuff. So let's hop into Aquarius. Again, I hope I don't cough. I really hope, I might take a drink here or there, but. Hopefully the rest of the readings, I sound a little more normal. So let's get into Aquarius for September 2021. What's happening with Aquarius? <clears throat> oh, okay, Aquarius. Okay, I see you. Let me make sure I'm on camera here. Let me move these over since you've seen them. Let me rearrange here a little bit. Give me some more room. Falling back in love, Aquarius. Okay. Oh, things are actually looking up for you quite a bit. All over. Fight is over. Okay. Interesting. Let's start with what we have here. There was a time of either singlehood, separation, or partying. And then there was also a family situation going on, but it looks like that, that situation's in the past. So this could be an argument with family, or it could be spending a lot of time with family. But that's in the past. It's almost like you've turned your back on it. In your present line, it shows freedom of emotional issues, freedom. There was something on your head that was bothering you as you were overthinking it, and you're now free from that. In your heart, it shows one single person. So before you may have had multiple people, or you may have had um, a separation or a confusing situation going on, but this is showing one individual person. It also... Your base foundation shows you don't want to fight anymore. In your future position for this month, for September, let me take a drink real quick. For September, it shows either a new love or a rekindling of love, and it's almost going to be like a brand new love. So if you had a love situation going on, if there was confusion going on, or you were separated from your person, it shows a new love. I'm going to tell you, look into our October, it looks like you have some extra money coming in. So Aquarius, I mean, it's looking all good for the love situation. It's saying, don't get too full of yourself. 
yeah, reconciliation's coming in. This is recent past. And it does say don't get too full of yourself. So I'm glad things are going well for you, Aquarius. But I don't want you to get too, too, too full of things, okay? But it does look like your love situation is going to work out. So let's, this is the other deck. This is that rebel deck. Let's shuffle this and see what comes up for you. What do you need to know for the month, Aquarius? Don't talk to anyone. Don't look at anyone. Ooh, because there's this card back here of multiple partners, but it says you're only supposed to have this one. Let's see. It says you need some fucking time alone and you know why. Oh, what were you doing bad, Aquarius? Good to know. Rebel cards, they're a little dirty. You have this very traditional, <coughs> excuse me, this very traditional 1500s deck. And then we got this modern deck full of curse words. I love it. I love the juxtaposition. So good for you, Aquarius. It seems like your month is actually going to work out pretty well if you don't get in your own way, which is what this card is about. Don't fall back on bad habits and old behavior that doesn't work. Now, since you stuck through all that and you stuck through my raspy voice, do not forget to check out down below. These are the two new soaps. This has the very um, Tonka bean, sandalwood. If you hear noise in the background, my dog Lucy is snoring her head off right next to me. Tonka bean, sandalwood, um, bourbon, tobacco, really very, very masculine smell. I like it too, though. So if you're into more of a autumn smell, a little heavier, smokier smell. If you like the smell of burning leaves, you can get this. It's it's not gender specific. But I will tell you, this was inspired by my friend Jason, like I told you. Um, especially when he was working as a firefighter. He got very, very, very stinky in those heavy suits and in very bad weather. So and, and humid weather. So this will take stink away. If you are a man and you have you know what? Those two things. Those two stinky round things you carry around in your pants. This will take care of that smell. I don't know how graphic I can get, but probably next video will be even more graphic. This takes the smell away. I have been using this. A bunch of my guy friends, including my husband, say when they use this, when they take their next shower, they don't smell anything when they take their pants off, if you know what I'm saying. So if you know, if you have body parts and they stink, this is for you. If you have a pet, this works on cats, this works on dogs. Anything with fur. This is an oatmeal-based shea butter soap. Same kind of smell. It's that earthy smell because I think animals smelling like fruit or smelling like, um, you know, fresh linen or freesia uh, or Febreze is weird. Um, this is a very earthy smell. It's that same uh, bourbon, tonka bean, tobacco, you know, natural smell. It's a really good smell. So this is the Robbie. I'm going to see if I can get a picture of Robbie for you guys because he's so handsome. Mr. Robbie, and this is for Mr. Jason. They will be down below. Very similar listings that they were before. But like I said, I do have the charcoal soap that is more, has does not have any scrubbies in it and is lavender scented. I also have the charcoal sugar scrub, the detox sugar scrub that is lavender. Goes along with this. So check those two out. Thank you for hanging in, Aquarius. And don't forget, if you're a cross watcher, I have all the other ones coming. This is the first one for September, but keep uh, in mind we're doing this alphabetical order today or this month, so it'll be, you kind of know where you are. So Virgos are actually last this month, but that's okay. That's why we're the best. That's why we're last. So have a great day, Aquarius, and I will talk to you soon.